character. Character, you know, character traits are those little pieces of character that help us get along better in the world, that help us make a big difference in the world. And today, what we're going to do is learn about some really important trait. In fact, it's so important that some heroes use it. Um, maybe those of you who've been in school the last few weeks might know what that trait is. If you do, on the count of three, you tell me what our trait is for this month. One, two, three. Excellent, it is determination. We're going to check out our definition of determination. Determination is deciding it's worth it to finish what you started. So I want all of you to repeat it with me. Determination is deciding it's worth it to finish what you started. Awesome. And today I'm really excited because we have something for you that you get to wear to learn about our new character trait. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, put your hands together for the greatest one-man boy band to ever be assembled. Give it up for the Be The One Boy Band Band!
Gordo! Gordo! Gordo, where are you? He's out! Grandpa, hear me! Whoa, whoa, son, son, don't run up on an old man like that. Oh, I'm sorry. I just, I got so excited. It's okay. It's okay. Guess what? What? Hi, Gordo. Okay. Can't fall in there, boss. <laughs> I got, a, I got a magazine that came in today, and it's exciting. It's got the new skateboard inside of it. New skateboard. What? A new skateboard. Grandpa Henry, this is why I want Gordo. Gordo, but Gordo's not here, Tyler. What can I help you? Uh, Somebody smart? I can help you out. Smart? Yeah, maybe I can help you out. Okay. Is Mrs. F here? Just spill it, Tyler. Okay. Well, I got the new, I got the new uh, magazine in, and it's got a skateboard inside of it. It's called the Anthony Robbins Titanium Bamboo Truck Skateboard. It's only forty bucks. It's it's a skateboard. It's only forty bucks. And guess what, Grandpa? What? I got forty dollars. Well, then buy it already. Just quit yelling at me. Well, there there's one thing with that. I I sponsor a kid. His name is Christopher, and uh, I I usually send him forty dollars a month. He's down in Uganda. Oh, so I see. You want to get that newfangled skateboard, but you can't because all your money is going to the kiddo. Yeah, but he's cool. He's a kid. He'll understand. I love my skateboard. But what about this month? Well, I've been sending it to him for the past few months. He'll understand. It's a skateboard. I'll, I'll like it. It's, he understands. He's a kid. Son, let me tell you a story. Oh, this is why I wanted Gordo. Just sit. Oh, my goodness. Sponsoring a, kid, a child, that's an awesome thing. But you have to stay determined to keep doing it. I sponsored a child when I was around your age. Oh? You know, you should try keeping your mouth shut when you speak. But anyways, I knew it was a good thing. You keep helping this kid. You keep helping him do it. Money was really tight. I knew I was going to have to make some of my own sacrifices just to have enough money to send to that kid. What did you do? Well, when I started dating Gordo's grandma, instead of spending a ton of money on taking her out, I had to improvise. What did you do? Broke you. <laughs> I'm telling you, I could whip up a possum stew that would literally curl your toes. Oh, my stomach's hitting that way right now. Well, and then I also had to sacrifice some time, too. I uh, ended up taking some odd jobs just to make some extra money. At one time, I was a plumber. Another time, I was a short order cook. And there was one time when I did both, but not at the same time. You see what I'm saying, Tyler? Yeah. Boy, I am trying to lay down some wisdom on you. Pay attention. Yeah. There was one time I went down to the local TV station, entered a dance contest. Oh, I was so good. I knew I was doing something for helping that kid out. And I was determined to do it no matter what cost. You understand, Tyler? Tyler? Tyler! Well, maybe I should have stopped when I talked about the toilet plant. But I'm telling you, I had some good things.
everybody. It's time to take a break from the drama. And we're going to do something really fun that I like to call Name That Tray 2. Sound like a good time? It's a game where I grab one lucky victim, I mean contestant, and they come up here and help me guess the name, or the, the next line of a song that we're going to play. But because it's me, and I'm the original Be The, be the One Man Boy Band Band, we're going to do it a little bit differently today. And like I said, lady who helped me turn on my microphone so I didn't look like a fool. Oh, oh. Oh, she did? Miss Malcolm? No? no? Uh, sure? <laughs> Stand on up here. We're going to go ahead and do this differently. We're going to go ahead and have Mrs. Gard. Yeah, she's going to be my lucky <laughs> contestant. We're going to play Name That Trade Tune. How we normally play this game is we go ahead and, and, and play a little bit of the music and then she would have to guess the song. But because I'm here, we're going to do a karaoke style. Okay? <laughs> yeah! I know. So, no judgment from anybody anywhere, please. Gonna be a contest to so we're singing. She says, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sing the first verse. If I can remember. And then um, if she sings the next line or at least gives, at least gives it a shot, she will win a fabulously underfunded prize. Sound like fun? Alright, let's get singing. Our first song is by the band Fleetwood Mac. And it's a, it's in a, a help, their efforts help us remember to not let a bad day get us down. Because tomorrow could be better. No judgment, remember. 